Halloween has come and gone along with the sugar rush. You good? <laughs> I'm good, right. I think. But what about all of those <laughs> Halloween stores that set up shop? Well, thousands pop up all around the country, including at least a dozen here in Hampton Roads from one company alone. But are they really profitable? 13 News Now anchor Philip Townsend checked it out. What's with all the pop up Halloween stores every year? Ever wonder how that works? Here one day, gone the next? This isn't just a Hampton Roads thing. They exist all over the country. One of the bigger companies, Spirit Halloween. You've seen them pop up in old toy stores and vacant food marts. In fact, we counted 11 of them in Hampton Roads alone. Here's the interesting thing. We told you about the decline in traditional retail, stores closing like Dick's at Town Center or the handful heading out of MacArthur Center in Norfolk. Well, this decline actually helps companies like Spirit Halloween. Why? Because their business model revolves around real estate. They hire teams to scout out locations year round, and the more that popular retailers already in prime spots close, the more space there is for Spirit Halloween to move in and grab a temporary lease for a decent price. Now, it may not be a permanent solution for the landlord, but some money now is better than no money. So don't expect to see the trend end anytime soon. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. Spirit has been around since 1983, but if you think you've seen more every year, you're right. It started with one. Now there are about 1,400 stores in the U.S. and Canada. And get this, you may not know this, Spencer Gifts. Are you old enough to remember that? Oh, yeah. They bought the company 20 years ago, and they still operate the chain today.